These guidelines are for the assembly of the crane mast detached for transportation. Suspend the crane mast vertically using the assist crane. Lower it to its position on the front of the upper structure and align the pinholes. Insert the crane mast foot pins. In the case of a jointed base machine, insert foot pins manually and affix keeper plates. In the case of a separated base machine, insert the pins with the hydraulic cylinder provided and then affix the keeper plates firmly. The hydraulic power source is also used for boom foot pin insertion, so connect the hose appropriately. Remove the lever block used to hold the lower spreader during transportation. With the assist crane, lower the crane mast backwards to bring the lower spreader into position to connect it. Insert the lower spreader pins and lock them in place with holding pins. Extend the crane mast cylinder to support the crane mast. Wind the W1 hoist rope to lower the crane mast backwards. At this time, do not use the assist crane to support the mast weight, but allow the mast to be lowered backwards. Stop lowering the mast when it reaches an angle of about 170 degrees from the front. Retract the crane mast cylinder to lower the mast completely. Detach the sling suspending the mast. If using the special suspension wires that come with the crane, leave them attached to the mast. Connect the hydraulic hose and cables for the W1 hoist winch. Be sure there's no water inside since this can cause damage. Remove the guy line link fixing pins on the left and right sides of the mast and stow them. Raise the mast by extending the crane mast cylinder while paying out the W1 hoist rope. 